today let's take a deletion from a link queue now uh, let's first of all understand the concept of uh, deletion from a linked queue here the item that is there in the front will get deleted first right so basically if i have a queue here uh, if there is a queue like this this is the front this is the rear and uh, you have some items in the queue here let's see let's take uh, four items like this so this is the first one second and uh, this one is the front pointer and this one is the rear pointer these are the addresses of the node let's say and uh, here you have got the information uh, let's say 566 here 788 here and 1090 here and this is the last node <coughs> so i'll put it as null right the address of this node let's say is 321 right okay so now front has 321 rear has 1090 and uh, Let's put some information in this. Like this, right? This is the linked queue that I have formed. Now I'll uh, link it. This is front. Front is pointing to 3 to 21. So here it comes. 321 is pointing to 566. So this is the link. This uh, 566 is pointing to 788. So here comes the link for this. 1090 is here and rear is pointing to 1090 right this is the linked queue which we have the front has got the address 321 rear has got the address 1090 right and these are the nodes in the list these are the addresses the last node in the list has got its next pointer as null Now this is the first item in the link queue. So whenever we have to delete from a queue, the deletion always happens from the front and the insertion always happens at the rear, right? So now we are looking at delete, so it has to be from the front. So if you delete, the first node that will be deleted is this node, this one, right? Now see what will happen if I uh, delete this uh, first node. If supposing this node has to get deleted, right? In this case, the address of front will get modified. If I want to delete this node, suppose, right? If I want to delete this node, then the next of this node that is the next of the first node that is 566 that 566 will have to come to the front that is the only thing we have to do right so when this uh, front gets rewritten with this address of 566 now the link will be to this node right okay no other change and this particular link, this will go. Understood? So, here the link is formed. So, the first node is now gone. So, front is pointing to 566. If you want to delete the delete another node, obviously another node, when you want to delete it, it will always be this node, the first node again. Right? So, if I want to delete this node, if I want to delete this node, the next of this is 788. 
right so the next of the node that is going to be deleted that gets rewritten here right so now this will become 788 like this so when this becomes equal to 788 so this link so 78 it will point to this 788 now where is 788 788 is here right so now front is pointing to this understood so these two nodes are gone and all these links will also be gone this link is also gone now this link is also gone the link that we have is from front to 788 and from 788 to this 1090 rear is pointing to 901090. So this is basically how the deletion works. Now I'll write down the algorithm for this deletion from a linked queue. <clears throat> If front is equal to null, if front is equal to null, then the queue is empty, right? Print queue empty, no node can be deleted because there is no node in the queue, right? The else part. we take some uh, variable here item is equal to front that is the first node that is the node to be deleted right uh, front info part so basically uh, we are trying to save the information into a variable called item and then we check if front is equal to rear right if front is equal to rear first of all I'll write this then we'll see this then the else part for this uh, that's it okay now we have already seen uh, the basic concept here now let's try to understand it with the help of this uh, uh, algorithm right This is what we had here. Three twenty one. This is address three twenty one. Let's see. This is four sixty six. Seven sixty eight. Let's see. This is one zero nine zero. And here you will have one zero. 90 here you will have 466 right here you will have 768 here you will have 1090 and here you will have none right and uh, the information that we want to enter here the information can be anything in all your uh, examples we have taken the information part as integer we can also have it as a string as a character whatever we want right so the link is here from here to this place from here to this this and this is rear pointing to this right okay now let's try to understand it if front is equal to null in our case front is not equal to null right so we'll come to the else part now we say item is equal to front info so basically we are trying to store this uh, uh, information the that is going to be deleted so here uh, we'll have item is equal to front means front info means it is a if front is equal to rear the if front is equal to rear means we have only one node in the queue 
right front is also pointing to that rear is also pointing to that so basically front is equal to rear will be true when you have only one node in the queue in our case you can see that front is 321 and rear is 1090 they are not equal right so you come to the else part and you say front is equal to front link now what is front front is equal to 321 here right so basically what we are trying to say is 321 link link is the next pointer right uh, three uh, sorry we are trying to write this front is equal to 321 link now what is the link of 321 the link of 321 is 466 right so that translates into front is equal to 466 right so basically this address this is the front pointer here we are uh, changing it to Here we are changing it to 466, right? So when I change this to 466, this is front. When I change this to 466, what happens? This link is gone, right? And 466 is here. So this is the link which I get now, this link, right? And when this node is going to be deleted, then obviously any link from this node will also get deleted, right? So this link is also gone. So basically I have eliminated this link, this uh, node from the queue and then we will be deleting it also. right? Uh, now the first node is deleted, now the front is pointing to this. When you come back again, now front is 466, so everything will get changed. See, when I say item is equal to front info, this A will become what? This A will become B. This A will become this A will become B, right? Front will become equal to 466, right? And this will become equal to front 466 link. 466 link is what? 768, right? So now this front will get modified to 768, okay? This link will go off and this from 466, this link will also go. Right? Now this node is also deleted. Right? When I say 768, that is front is pointing to 768 means now the link is directly from this place to this place. Got it? So like this, we will carry on with the deletion. Now when this node, supposing I say that uh, the third node is also deleted let's let's look at this condition this node is also deleted and now the front has uh, instead of uh, 768 let's say i have 1090 here so when i uh, when i have 1090 the link is from here to here right hmm? now let's look at this if front is equal to null it is not equal to null now we come to this else part here this condition if front is equal to rear if front is equal to rear this condition now see front is equal to 1090 rear is also equal to 1090 both of them are equal right so this condition front is equal to rear becomes true in that case what do we do we say front is equal to rear is equal to null so basically you are writing here you are cutting this and you are putting this as null right and this also is put as null so when you put both these things as null null it is not pointing to anything basically right so this link is gone and when you say this is also equal to null this link is also gone so finally you have deleted all the nodes from your list uh, from the queue and now front is null and uh, rear is also null so the linked queue is now empty you have deleted all the nodes right so this is how deletion is done in a linked queue so we have seen the concept of deletion from a linked queue in our next session we will write the coding for this so with that i end this session bye